that way, but it could be upside down. Um, but I'm thinking about putting a spout right in here. I could put one up there. I could put one on the, on the top there. Um, there's a lot of options that I have for that. It could just be a piece that sits there and looks pretty, and that's fine too. Um, that texture right there, anyone guess where that's at? I know that's crazy, huh? You know what that texture's from? It's that squishy mat you walk on every day. I just dropped it on there and that's where it came from. Yeah, we could, we could do like a bright yellow with like, I don't know, black background. And then for you, so I'm gonna use some lino cuts. We also have textures over here. They're not really separated perfectly, but we have rollers, we have foam stamps, we have clay stamps and other types of stamps there. This one up top here is like random stuff. There's random things that are happening. Oh yeah, from a live, laugh, love little woodcut. So that's my life right there. Live, laugh, love. So we're gonna we're gonna use that today. All right, and then what I want you to do, you can come up with your own templates, or you can just kind of wing it today. Things should be fairly symmetrical, but they don't have to be symmetrical. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways to put them together. But first, we're going to start with our texture. So I'm just going to roll my texture on here. Oh, not enough. Didn't hit the middle very well. Better. So there's a texture, and then we're going to throw laugh like this. One of the great parts about art is you can plan it out, or you can respond and kind of work through whatever you're doing. And I'm more of a responder. I kind of look at stuff and I go, I could do this, I could do that, and I can play around with it. Or you can plan it out specifically. I want this shape with this texture in this spot, and we can, we can go from there. So with this one, again, we can just kind of decide what we're going to do. And I'm just going to cut out, I think I'm just going to do a little swoop. This is a fairly simple design. Yours are going to be smaller than this to practice, okay? I just want to show you in a little bit bigger so that they can, you can kind of see what we're going to do. Now, if I have texture on both sides, so I want to have texture here and I have texture there, and texture goes on before you cut it and before you put it together, unless you're carving it. If you're trying to stamp, it's a lot harder once it's all built to come in here and stamp anything. It can be done, but it's not the best or optimal. But if I have texture on both sides, I'm going to flip it over. So when I cut it, my texture is facing <clears throat> towards each other. So let's do one more texture here. I have a couple of we'll do this a couple of fondant mats coming or fondant depending on which TV show you watch. And a couple of other things. And I'm just, 
I'm just kind of going for it. And now we're going to come here and decide, do I want that to go straight? Do I want to go sideways on an angle uh, like that? And I, that's what I want there. And I'm going to cut using this as my pattern. Okay, now here I have two options. I can take these and put them together like this. So it's going to kind of bow in, or I can create a wall on the inside. So let me show you both in small version. So we've got one. This is going to be my walled piece. No, I want it bigger than that. Does anyone have a drawing class from Miss Bird Klinger? Is that her last name? No, I can't. Oh, I actually don't know. I think it's like Klinger. But out in the portable? Yeah. I was out there helping her set up a. A, a sink, they have a portable sink so that you can actually wash brushes and stuff. That's what I was doing this morning. So we have our pieces, and if we're going to put them together, we could go just like this and kind of add some volume that way. Okay. Or we can run a straight line. I think most of you have done similar things. We can run a straight line like this. Put that on there. And then if we score and slip it, it'll have a whole lot more volume, but it's straight volume instead of kind of tapered and curved. Okay, does that make enough sense? Okay, let's move forward. Make sure you're wedging up your clay, putting it together at least. Um, if you if you just let it sit out flat, it's going to dry quickly and it's just kind of wasting clay. All right, so on this one, when I put two pieces together, I'm going to taper them. I don't know if you can see that. And tapering means I'm just gonna cut an angle or a bevel on each of them, like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's just clay. It could be perfect. You could be very meticulous. They have cutters for these. And then you're going to come in and score them. Little slip. Don't need much because it's workable clay. And then when I put them together, I can start on the ground or I can start up top. The bigger it is, the floppier your clay is gonna be, which is why we're gonna start out with small pieces. So you're gonna come in here. We're gonna start down at the bottom. And line that up. And I'm just gonna seal it. I feel like I could go for a fresh order of empanadas right now. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Get that squished together. Okay. 
like so. And then you're going to work on your volume. So right now, we see that it's pretty, pretty flat. And we're just going to come in here. Push this out just a little bit and add some volume there. If there's something you don't like what it's doing, you can come in here and kind of play around with it. If you want to let it sit up a little bit, you could do that. And then we're going to throw out another slab. We'll throw out a big slab. While I'm doing this, you should write down some stuff. Like, what, what shapes do I want? What do I want things to look like? You could use words like modern, contemporary, organic, fluid, unique and this is how I usually on a closed form like this I'm gonna eyeball this it's a little soft to be doing this but I'm just gonna come in here and score what I think is going to be the inside because we're not going to see the inside so I'm not worried about it and then I'm just going to carefully hold this score here the reason why I do it this way on a form like this and if you want remember you can add a coil on the inside is I don't have to lift this up twice so put it on and measure it and lift it up. But everyone's project's gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna set it down. Okay, now we're gonna cut it. That kind of squish there. I'm gonna cut it a little bit big just to make sure that it touches. it and get that pushed on and then I'm gonna get it sealed and then I'll clean that up when it's a little more leather hard because right now it's a little bit soft oh that kind of bounced in so pull that out Seal that. And if you want to play around with something else, you'd have to bring your own straw. You don't get to use mine. But once you get that sealed up, you want to come and play around with volume. Come in here. Cut a little hole. Put that down in there. It's not wanting to go to there. I guess that's going to where it's going to stay. You can do it on, on these sometimes. But anyways, we're going to get that going. We're going to clean that up. Um, while that's sitting, let's do a couple of embellishment things because I really do want you to play around with some clay today. So embellishments. Well, let's let, before we move on. That's one way of doing it. This was just a a freeform pattern, um, freeform pattern. 
you choose. They can be, they can be tall and go this way, and you can wrap them together, or you can add the walls to them. Um, you could come in and do any number of things to them. I want you to really play around with form on this. Just kind of, you could call it goofing off if you want. Um, just, just push it and see what happens. So, we're going to come in here. We're going to add a little spout. So I'm going to throw this out a little bit more. And we cut out something pretty straight. If you want to measure it, you go right ahead. And then I'm going to wrap it around this dowel. That looks like it'll be a pretty good size for that. I'm just going to wrap that around. On the demo, she cut it and then cut it. I'm just going to wrap it slightly with just a little bit of loose to it. And I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to cut through both sides at an angle, so not straight up and down. So taper it, and we'll score and slip that together. While we're going, if you want me to redo something or clarify it, you can, for the most part, you should have a basic idea of what we're trying to accomplish with scoring and slipping and other things like that. that push together um, if you want to do something like this on the wheel so make little spouts and stuff on the wheel you certainly can um, but I, I don't know how to do the wheel um, you were supposed to go and start watching those uh, one out of 13 has done it um, make sure you go and watch those videos um, Friday slash Wednesday, we're going to be doing um, demos on the wheel. And then we're just going to kind of run for about, I don't know, three or four days on this project, three or four days on the wheel project. So we put that there. And then we're going to attach that there. She had a little ball. All I'm going to do is come in here and rotate this out just a little bit. The nice thing about throwing it on the wheel is you're not going to have a seam. Okay, let that sit because we want to play with that when it's leather hard. Now embellishments. Embellishments can any, be nearly anything and it's just something we're going to attach. And you, you can choose what an embellishment looks like. So we can go here and take a little ball of clay and score that, score that where I think it's going to go, add a little bit of slip. Now the embellishment could be the ball of clay, just like that. Um, let's put two on so we can show you almost immediately what we, we can do. a little smaller. Get that there. You can sort of see that. Okay, so we could come in here and just push that in. And now we have kind of like a little button. Or we could come in here. Push that out. And everything we do is going to react with glaze. Maybe that needs a push in the middle too. Yeah, I think it did. So it's kind of like a shield now. Okay, just a little tiny embellishment. And you can do that. You could add 
a little tiny handle or lug. And this is a really simple one. You're just gonna take a piece of clay. And roll out a coil. Fairly uniform, if you want to add texture to it, you can. And then you can decide where it's going to go. No, I don't have a great spot. That right there, I would consider to be a handle and not an embellishment or a lug. But if you take this same piece, and I know I said I was going to put a spout there, but the spout snooze, so it's going to lose. That right there is an embellishment or a lug. Okay, so it's much smaller. Um, and we're just going to score and slip that on there. And remember, embellishments just add a little bit of interest, intrigue. They break up lines so that there's not just straight lines happening. And you could play around with the same sort of shape, but different sort of forms. Now, what does that look like? It looks like this. So we could come in here. I don't want that a little thicker. So we could go with the same sort of a curve, okay, that's similar, All right, and we can score and slip that on, so on this one, if you're like, I don't know what to do, um, it's your job to come up with something to do. Just, just think, what can I put on there? And some questions you might ask yourself. Do I want one to add accent? Do I want two to make it kind of symmetrical? Um, do I want to put them all on so I could come in here? Let's just do some impressed... Um, embellishments. Do I want them to be completely lined up and measured out? Do I want them to take up the whole section? Do I want them to do something else? And sometimes we'll just allow the clay and the process to, to move it. And so on this, do I want those dots to be that? Do I want to put some dots on the other side? Do I want to put some dots on the top to kind of tie it together? You can play around with all those things. Um, do you want the whole thing to be dots? Right? Those are choices you get to make, and I'm not gonna be like, oh, no, that's not right. I'm gonna come and put some dots right on the top here. Everyone has their own particularness. All right, so this one, just play around. I could come in here and just add one little hole in it. So it's literally the same shape and form, just slightly different, okay? Um, and that could be cool. I could come in here and kind of Ream that out just a little bit, and that might be cool. I could go for a different shape in there. Um, if you want, you can come in here and add things on the end. And remember, you're going to be playing around with these. And if you get to a point where you're like, I like that, okay, because you've pushed it, take photos of it. Talk to or write down kind of your process to get there so that you can recreate that on your big project. Let's see. This is getting there. 
Any questions so far? Anyone overly confused? That's not gonna. We're using mostly slabs on this project, but if you want to venture out and use pinch pots or coil pots or something like that, you certainly can. Um, and a small amount if you wanted to get on the wheel. If you're like, mm, I think I can get on the wheel. Just squish that down. going to play around with things and and one of the things I'll be looking for as you're working is if you're just like stopped and not exploring not adding not pushing further um, I'll just be like push further and again if you're saying I don't know what to do there's no right answer to this other than just to work so that we can create projects, so that we can reflect on those projects, so that we can make better, more unique projects later. Does that make sense? Enough sense? Clean that up. I'll probably come in and put a little coil in there. Friday, we'll cover a few more things, add some stuff to it. Any questions? So, if someone were to ask you, walk in here right now and be like, what are you doing today? What does the next 40 minutes look like for you? Okay? So I want you to turn to the three or four people close to you and talk for like three minutes about what the next 40 minutes looks like. You can talk about some of this, talk about some of the shapes you like, things like that. So three or four minutes, go ahead and talk to each other about what the next 40 minutes looks like. That was 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> Keep going. Everyone should be participating. Check on my plates and my pickle. Yeah. Yes. Spack table. You guys aren't too chatty. We already we um, talked. But you didn't. Making shapes. Making shapes and like scoring the designs. Working on stuff. Talk to each other. I'm going to embellish. Embellish. Yeah. Everyone contribute. <laughs> Making spouts and little holes and stuff. Designing. Someone make something. Like Make something. Make Just put two on, put two more on. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. You have, we hit stop. Um, you have the right.